We got unbelievable videos that cannot be explained. Drop a thumbs up. When it comes to strange new. encounters with creatures, there's one that gives me the creeps just because of the possibility that it might be real. And that would be Bigfoot. Yeah, one if you believe... <laughs> Bruh. One if you believe, two if you don't. All over the world, there are reports of people who have said to have encountered such a creature. And what's most intriguing is that most people describe seeing the same thing. There has been so many people that said this was back in 1994. God dang. Yo. Get over there. That looks like a person, honestly. Oh, yeah. But it must be pretty massive to be able to capture from that distance, you know? Oh my god! Damn! Yo, run, now run, run, what's run, curious run. about these creepy and scary encounters is that sometimes they have a pattern. And it's the case with Provo Canyon in Utah, which is a region that has been home to many different Bigfoot encounters in the past few years for some mysterious reason. And I guess that one of the most terrifying encounters happened in Provo Canyon. This is what was caught on camera. Damn. Damn. So there is a monkey, but is it Bigfoot? Uh oh. Yeah, you see that. Someone is definitely there. Let me just fire one bullet. Let's see if he comes out. Bah! Okay, not tank. Too close to not even cool. yeah it's moving oh it's coming it's coming <laughs> no. yeah man you gotta run. Run, 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 run the video was recorded by beard card youtube channel and when he posted this video it amassed millions of views and internet users were curious is it really bigfoot or is it a man in a suit all I know is that after watching it's, this video a couple of times... It's very hard to say the the size of this thing. It's definitely big, but is it like as big as a Bigfoot would be? Times or maybe more. It really looks legit. Not to mention Beard Card's reaction. But it doesn't stop there. Yeah. A couple of months earlier, before this video was posted, another person encountered what appears to be the same creature in Provo Canyon. Check this out. What the? Oh, this one's loud. Yeah, that's big. That's definitely big. Yeah, he's just sitting there. Probably needs a probably needs a banana. Your thoughts on this one? You think this can this can be fake too, but but you would have to put in so much work, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's playing around with the trees. What appears to be the same creature is caught on camera throwing rocks as if it's disturbed. But it happens again, years later, when a family captures what appears to be the same creature climbing up a mountain in Provo. So I can't get in my car until you oh, I gotta leave first, but I one. Climb over. I'm gonna get. I, you can. No, you'll be fine. I'm just gonna get Damn. more footage of the Sasquatch. Bro, that got to be big. This is the closest I got. And it's moving. Now, so it's moving. Okay, seriously, look how big it is. Yeah. He's just chilling. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't even think I would have a range. My bullet would drop, so I gotta shoot a little higher. It's a Sasquatch. Because look, he's land. on the mountain, way far back on the mountain. But look how huge he is. So the question is: Are these real Bigfoot sightings? And if so, why is Provo Canyon home to many of these Bigfoot encounters? It might be just like a big size gorilla, right? Like, yeah. I, I know, I know, I know, I see you, but but, but I'm just trying to make if you sense. Have any idea to leave a comment? Your thoughts? What you playing who for really real? really enjoys staring at the stars and the moon. I have to say that there's something mysterious about the moon in general that I just can't explain. And thanks to Hans Lippershey, who invented the telescope in the 1600s. Millions of telescopes are sold each year to people all over the world so they can observe the stars and the moon. That's how curious humans are about things up there in the sky. Crew, crew. UFO? Another plane or UFO? What is this? What is going on? What in the world is Damn. that? Damn! That is huge.
Most of the times, people are expecting to see things like meteors and comets and things of sort. However, sometimes, strange things happen. There's so much creepiness. There, not even creepiness. There's so, so much strangeness, so much stuff that people find that's unexplainable, and we never get explanation. Or in fact, we get explanation, which is like, "Hey, man, it's just a lantern, just a Chinese lantern. It's just a balloon. Hey, you must have seen the drone. You know, that's what they they always say. Chinese lantern, Chinese lantern." But this could be Starlink stuff. I mean, they didn't they came out and, and said that exact... Starlink does similar stuff, but I feel like that could be a cover up to something that's that might be real and genuine. Your thoughts? What will happen with Brit Mo 77, a woman who has been posting regular videos about her daily life on Damn. TikTok for quite a while now. And all of a sudden one day she decides to record the moon with her telescope. What she captures will kill you to the bone 30 seconds ago i just caught something i'm i'm losing my mind right now please tell me what i just saw like look at it analyze it what did i just catch on the moon damn she's i'm losing my mind some sort of go. unknown object seems to stumble across the moon midway i mean i can't even oh begin God. to explain what it is that i'm seeing here and i guess that this is exactly what brit mo 77 was thinking when she saw this with her own eyes Bro, the, the fact that it leaves trail and before you're like, okay, it must be a bug. It must be an insect. Bruh. Like, uh, if it's an insect, the, the, the entire camera thing would be blacked out because this is so zoomed in. If you were to put something very close to the camera, like if I put my finger, you see how big it is? And it's not even zoomed in, like I'm very close to my camera, right? I just put my finger like that and it, it just captures that. This zoom in, this amount of zoom in you see right now, and you put like an insect in between, it will take the entire camera. It will just black, black out. So I've seen videos like that from secure team as well, where he has captured stuff and showcased stuff that's similar to that. So damn, damn. Okay, 30 seconds ago, I just caught something. I'm, I'm losing my mind. Now this isn't the only video that portrays Bruh. strange things going on around the moon. In the past few years, there were many. Some of them were considered fake while others still remain without an explanation. Yo, you saw the shadow, right? Oh, lo vieron? Wow. <laughs> Yo, he's freaking out. This video, for instance, was caught on camera by a... Yo, how big that should have... That is supposed to be. You see this? You barely see this because of the, the quality. It's Something's moving, you can see. But the shadow is clearly visible. The shadow, it's like... Uh, it's round, but there's like a circle thing. It's like an egg shape kind of. Astronomer Ruben Ariza, and he was baffled by what he saw. What appears to be an object casting some sort of shadow into the moon's surface. I mean, what is going on here? There's no doubt about what we're seeing because the camera quality is very good. And the same happens with Britmo 77's video. We can't explain exactly what it is that's going on here, but we can see it very clear. Now, yeah, whatever this is, it has to be massive for us to be able to see it on the telescope like that, right? And the fact that you see that trail... 77's video went viral very quick. You see that trail? Most internet users were trying to guess what the object was. One user tried to compare the object's size, and apparently it's massive. Others believe it could be some sort of glitch in the matrix that may help prove that we may be living inside some sort of simulation. Now mm. talking about a glitch in the there are a lot of theories like that, but I don't believe in that. One if you one if you believe we're living in a matri uh, in a in a simulation. Two if not, I don't think we're living in a simulation. But I do believe that like the deja vu's are kind of wild, right? Whenever you get that deja vu matrix. When it comes to famous people doing interviews or live streams on television, there are several videos that portray strange and completely unexplained things that are accidentally been, caught on a, camera. Been a heck of a ride, mm. to be honest. Yo, man EXE. <laughs> man EXE broke. Um, I really can't complain. Um, yeah, I was kind of... It's bruh. Bruh. It's the little unexplained glitches in these videos that makes us wonder if by any chance we're living inside of some sort of simulation. What? Bro, no way. Simulation. Now, of course, most of the times these videos have an explanation. However, sometimes they don't. 
And that's when things become creepier. Like this video that was posted a couple of weeks ago of Lady Gaga doing a show in her Chromatica tour. Check this out. Oh, damn. Damn, man. The end is nigh, guys. The end is nigh. Y'all gotta, y'all better start praying me. Did you see it? You probably didn't. An object is thrown at Lady Gaga, what appears to be a magazine or a book. Whoa! It then makes a sudden stop midair and drops as if it's hitting some sort of. Whoa! Oh my god, there's. Go what? Of invisible force field. It's like. Now, Damn. the video was posted by Noah3020, Twitter user. It quickly amassed millions of views. You can see the impact that it did. It's not like it, it just fall midway. It didn't did this. Like it didn't did this, right? And fall. It didn't fall midway. It's like hit and then it's like it's like pow. You know what I mean? Thousands of comments and people were trying to figure out exactly what was it that happened here. Four Certainly million that views. Users thought it was computer editing, but Noah quickly replied saying that this was his own video and that it was not edited. Some suggested that this is some sort of theatrical mash that is put just in front of performers so that people won't be able to throw things at the performer. But this Yo, was- Yo, could you imagine you're performing and they, and it's so bad that the audience started throwing like tomatoes, potatoes, and you know, didn't didn't people used to throw that back in the days? Like people would throw, start throwing like the eggs and tomatoes and stuff. And for security reason there, yeah, I mean, I can see them taking precaution, but you don't see anything in front of you though. It was immediately debated by other Twitter users who posted a video from a Lady Gaga show in 2014 and shows that she's not using any kind of scrim or theatrical mash. So what's your take here? Do you think there's some sort of protective layer, such as a scrim, or maybe something else? But you don't see anything, right? It's clear. When you stop to think about maybe I could I could argue with the glass. There might have been glass, but still, it's just I don't know. That's creepy. That's wild. About the most but mysterious things in this world. What do you usually wonder about? I usually stop to think about the vastness of the oceans and the things that hide within. Yo, what the is going on here, bro? Yo, look all the people down there, look, just watching my. From Mr. There's something underneath. Various creatures like the Megalodon or the giant squid to completely unexplained creatures. The ocean is home to loads of strange sightings and unexplained things and Moshi a youtuber who was doing videos on mermaids at the time decided to investigate the Baltic Sea Moshi chose the Baltic Sea because legends of mermaids are common in this region mermaids that were sighted for example in Poland were said to sing to sailors and fishermen to trick them and make them fall in love Bruh. The legends of mermaids were taken so seriously in the region of the Baltic Sea that in the 1400s, the coat of arms of Warsaw was depicted as a mermaid twice. Y'all believe, like, believe in Atlanta stuff? I mean, these are fascinating stuff. Fascinating. It's uh, it's very interesting. It's like, for example, right, the alien stuff and, and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure they exist, right? Uh, there is a lot of evidence, but it's never enough. The evidence is never enough. The day we, let's say, officially find out and we know it's real in quote-unquote worldly earthly terms right the day we find out that it's genuine that mystery will cease to exist because we would have figured it out because right now it's like yeah you see a, a ufos yeah the government is coming out and saying that ufos are real yeah they might exist yeah they might not exist yeah i think they're real yeah you might not think or you might think it's real there's like the mystery right we have this mystery as long as this mystery is alive you're gonna question the and you're gonna be entertained by the idea of what if uh, what how where you, you know what i mean but the second it's discovered that mystery will die and then you're not gonna be questioning that then you're gonna have different questions and i feel like that with mermaids and stuff like that these are bigfoots and other stuff it's just one of those things it's like you're questioning it maybe you believe it maybe you don't but it's entertaining though you know i wanted to investigate this area and this is what happened. Saludos a todos. Pues vamos a comenzar con esta exploración 
Uh, para los que no saben, ahorita me encuentro en el mar Báltico. For those of you who do not know, it's between Germany and other countries. de Alemania, donde supuestamente Where hay there's supposedly lots of mermaid sightings. Eh, de aquí es de donde provienen los vikingos. Uh -huh. Aquí there's a mucho, lot of strange stories in this place. Historia sobre esto. About mermaids, lol, dude. Late at night at the beach, equipped with a flashlight and a spirit box. Damn. And he then quickly began to stream his video into his YouTube channel using a chanting technique that some of his subscribers advised him. What a giga chat! This is what happened. Oh, oh, oh something would happen. Oh. <laughs> lol, dude. Mega lol, bro. Bro. Oh. Distant singing. Is there something here? I can hear something. That something was singing back during his live stream. In other words, this is not edited or tampered with. What is going on here? Could it really be a mermaid or something else? Damn. Bruh. Está marcando el spirit box. Energía. The spirit box is signaling it detected some kind of energy. Moshi's spirit box starts going off, pointing towards the far side of the beach. Moshi then decides to follow the spirit box. And this is what happens next. Ow! This is what happened next. Oh my god. I, I oh la madre. Oh my Oh la madre. And the in the I can see it's had so something in the water, damn. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. What? Having spotted something strange in the water, Moshi now runs uphill in hopes of capturing it on camera. Ahí está. Ahí está. Your thoughts on this one? Thoughts on this one? Could be another human, could be his friend or someone he knows that's in the water and it's like, it's very hard. And again, man, like this is very entertaining and I don't want to be that guy that's like, hey man, that's fake, that, that's cap, that's fake, you know? But it's just one of those things, uh, like people that, I heard this theory and it's very true. People always say, why is the UFO videos very bad quality? But the second they are HD quality, there are some videos out there that are HD quality. When you see them, you're like, that's fake. That's fake. Wasn't the video supposed to be blurred out bad quality? I mean, damn. When there's HD quality, people are like, eh, eh, eh. This is the thing that I'm saying, man. It's like, damn, you can give people so much evidence. You can give so much evidence, but then it's like, it's never enough. It's never enough. Even to me, this is not enough. I'm entertained. I'm questioning it. I'm like, damn, could be legit. But it's just one of those things. You, you know what I mean? Uh, thoughts? Do you agree? Disagree? It's swimming. It's swimming. Oh! <laughs> Whatever it is oh that Moshi sees inside the water, it appears to be some sort of creature. It's very difficult, however, to affirm if this. Okay, right now it doesn't look like that. It's it can be a human because it's just different color. It's just sticking out like a sore thumb in the middle of the night, and it's kind of white. In the 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 water seems to be pretty dark. It's a know? mermaid or something like that. However, Moshi is convinced, and he rushes down the hill with his spirit box and his camera and begins chanting once more. This is what happens next. What a giga chat. Ah, hey, hey. Ah, hey. Ah, ah, what? Ay, who? Por qué? Qué pedo qué? Oh, no. Oh my god, what? I cannot see what was there. Moshi finds himself 
But I heard that. I heard that singing back. I mean, damn, bro. This reminds me of uh, God of War 1 on PlayStation 2 when you're in the desert area. It's like, you know, so much sand coming in you. You're hearing to that sound. It was kind of similar to that. You need to listen to the sound and you need to find them and actually kill them. And I'm talking about a PlayStation 2 game. God of War 1, maybe some of you played, maybe some of you didn't. But, yeah. Face to face with what appears to be a strange humanoid looking creature. He does what anyone would do and he runs for his life. After watching it. this video a couple of times, I'm not sure if it is real or not. Yeah. His reactions seem to be legit and the fact that this creature is singing back at him. And this is a live stream, no editing, no tempering. Oh my god. It could be. It's a live stream? If you say it's a live stream, then that changes stuff a little bit though. It's still, it's not enough. The evidence is still not enough, but... But it's, I'm curious now, Real you know? Deal. Very intrigued. But I'm not too sure. If it is, though, it might help prove something far more sinister. And that would be the fact that maybe we're not alone after all. Damn. What's your take? Damn. My take is that the evidence is uh, very compelling, very intriguing. But it's never gonna be enough. It's not enough. Which is sad, man. It's really sad. Now, I don't know if you know about this. But every year, 10% of the total population moves from their previous home to a new one. In the United States alone, for example, that would be about 30 million people moving homes every year. That's quite a lot. But in 2020 and 2021, those numbers were even higher. Not just in the United States, but all over the world, 2020 and 2021 were really strange years. Meu, olha isso que tá acontecendo no céu de Porto Alegre yeah, nesse momento, cara. Está temblando, se foi a luz. What? But it was about to get even stranger, as in Stranger Things for LR. A TikToker who was posting regular videos on his TikTok account about his daily life. This is until he moved into a new home in Chihuahua, Mexico. This is what he caught on camera. As you can see. Okay, what's that? His wall? Is it his wall? I don't know if you guys can see it. No, we can see it. It's like lava, right? I can see light coming through. What appears to be some sort of light source can be seen emanating from within his wall. It's lava, Baffled. kinda. LR posts this video to his account to see if anyone has any idea to what's going on here. Needless to say, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments and internet users were divided. While some internet users thought that this could be the real deal, most thought that this Portal. could be fake, Lol. maybe some sort of paint, a light source behind the wall, or maybe some sort of computer editing software. Well, this is when LR posted a next video to show his fans that it wasn't any sort of editing or a paint or anything like that. And this is what happens next. Oh my god, so he followed up? Okay, so that's the wall. Lights are on. I think when he turns off lights, that's when he sees it. Is this the same wall? Because right now there's none. Uh, yeah, I think he's gonna turn off. In this oh, video, yeah. you can see him going inside the room, turning lights on and off, and showing us the fissure on the wall, which appears to be glowing a little bit less. It's... Okay, right now it's looking pretty odd. Previously, it had the color of like lava. It almost felt like that it was lava behind, but now it's different. Whatever this strange phenomenon is, it has to be one of the strangest things ever. Unless yeah, see, this is different versus that. Of course, it's a hoax. But LR continued on posting videos about this strange phenomenon. And in this next eh. video, he replies to a subscriber who wanted to see the other side of the wall. Check this out. Oh, the other side? I'm going to show you what's on the other side. This is the fissure on the wall. So, I'm going to put my hand here. So you'll see I'm not editing. Here's the this is our bathroom. This is my hand, okay. This is the hallway. Here's the kitchen. 
This is solid as it can get. Si nos venimos, so here we are. Cocina, y no hay nada atrás. No hay grietas. And there's nothing at all. And there's nothing on the Still wall. not convinced, internet users asked him what if he had some sort of water leak in his roof. He waits for a rainy day and captures it on camera, and this is what happens. Okay, ahorita está lloviendo. Okay. Yeah, it's raining. Entonces, and there would be no water leak. He actually zooms in good enough for us to see the details on the wall's fissure and there's absolutely nothing special about it. It looks like a very normal and very old wall. So how come? Damn. Now if this is not paint and if it's not sunlight coming from outside, then what the heck is going on here? Thoughts? The fact is, in one of his live feeds on Instagram, one of his subscribers captured a chilling moment where this light source appears to glow stronger and then weaker again, making it evident that this is something else. This is not paint. This is not some sort of artificial glow or anything. Yo, where, where are the Avengers? It might be some... Yeah, we need the Avengers on this situation, though. Something like that. It seems as if there's something inside his wall. This <laughs> is the video. You guys notice it's getting stronger? Yeah, it's bad. It's bigger, wider. There it is. Mm. I'm live, you can see I'm not doing anything. Not only is it now glowing by itself, it seems that it's also becoming bigger. The fissure is getting video, bigger. LR points out something that his subscribers noticed. It's the fact that the crack on the wall is becoming bigger by the day. Yo, how come the government is not all over this one? How come the, the men in black didn't show up? How come you also didn't took like an axe and actually pickaxe and actually start like, you know what I mean? And see like what's behind. There might be a portal. There might be like a, like a future device back to the future kind of thing. There's something definitely strange about LR's home and I'm not sure I know what. In your opinion, what do you think is going on here? Do you think this is some sort of portal or is it maybe something else? Is it a What's portal? I don't know, man, but ladies and gentlemen, click on this video on the screen. If you want to continue this strange and mysterious content, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.